All right. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Uh, welcome to Ask Dr. Jeff. This is episode 42. I'm excited to see everyone as always. Hope your day has been going well and is very constructive. All right. I am your host and facilitator, Dr. Jeffrey Hubbard. I'm local here in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex, uh, medical doctor, researcher, entrepreneur, a lot of different things. But today, our focus on the discussion is about LifeWave and photobiomodulation. That's a bit of a mouthful. That simply means light therapy. And uh, LifeWave has uh, provided the world with a simply revolutionary technology uh, in the form of a wearable patch. That wearable patch is designed to influence our body to raise endogenous molecules that have been shown clinically to be beneficial and therapeutic. All right. So, uh, for example, typically what we see with light therapy is when we're in direct sunlight and we synthesize vitamin D um, or uh, we synthesize melanin, we get a suntan. Um, these things are naturally beneficial. There are tons of molecules that our body produces naturally, uh, more than we can ever cover uh, in a lifespan. And Mr. Schmidt, uh, the founder and CEO of LifeWave, has simply created a technology that reflects our own body heat back into the skin and helps us to naturally improve the production of those molecules because they're healthy and beneficial for us. I actually don't have my prop today, unfortunately, but uh, LifeWave patches are about the size of the United States quarter. Um, they contain a, a liquid nanocrystal, which is the proprietary component of the patch. And that is what specifically reflects certain frequencies of near infrared light back into the skin. And uh, it creates this phenomenon that we know as Modulation. All right. And so LifeWave has been in existence for, uh, they have 11 different patches and counting. And um, such a revolutionary sort of technology. The Show Pony, the most popular patch to this point, is one called the X39. And that's what we discussed here on Ask Dr. Jeff. Um, it does so many different things. Primarily, it raises G A copper K, which is a natural produced molecule. Uh, this molecule was discovered by Dr. Lauren Picard, a Harvard professor, approximately 1973. And that molecule has been studied in various different aspects of biomedical research and science to understand exactly how it works. Um, there's been 4,192 different genes that have been isolated that this particular molecule influences, all of which to improve the way the body functions. In addition to this genetic component, it also helps to raise what we call pluripotent stem cells. And these stem cells are our most primary and um, um, basic type of cell and they are capable of uh, transforming themselves into any type of adult tissue. Um, so they circulate throughout the body, um, looking for damaged, distressed, uh, traumatic, inflamed tissue, or anything of the like, worn out tissue, and they replace it. So uh, the common things that people see when they consistently wear the X39, improve sleep, improve energy level, uh, improve mental clarity, memory, focus, um, joint pain, muscle aches, anything in the musculoskeletal region, um, gastrointestinal improvement, uh, the list just goes on and on. And there's quite an interesting phenomenon uh, because each and every person has their own unique experience with the X39. That's one thing that I simply love, uh, both personally and professionally, 
in my utilization of the, the technology, specifically X39. All right, um, that's just a brief overview of the technology, a brief overview of the company. Uh, trust me, I could talk for hours about my experiences and what I think of the technology, but uh, we, we only have 30 minutes, so I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. Um, the other aspect is that where do you apply the patches? You apply the patches basically in acupuncture points along certain meridians uh, to influence the body to be at its best state of health and to bring it into what we call homeostasis, uh, which is physiological balance, all right? And so um, it works, uh, acupuncture is traditional Chinese medicine it, it works symmetrically. So you have one side of the body has a, a right-sided meridians and the other side of the body has left-sided meridians. And then there's uh, meridians that are in the midline, okay? Um, so we, we talked about several and today um, we're, we're going to cover another one that I think is uh, really dynamic. Um, and that one is called lung one. Uh, the lung meridian uh, typically helps us with things associated with lung and cardiovascular system. And it's going to be located right here at the juncture of the shoulder and the pectoral muscle. And so um, there's going to be on either side, right about there. Okay. And so if you have uh, issues with coughing, uh, dyspnea or challenges breathing, um, any sort of issue with um, um, COPD or ex exhalation issues, if you have an infection or any sort of thing going on with your lungs, uh, lung one is an excellent place to apply patches. Some common patches to apply there, energy enhancer, ice wave, um, X39, uh, glutathione, carnison is also a, a very helpful patch with improving lung function. So in today's times where um, it's not <laughs> far-fetched that you might run into an issue with respiratory distress, um, utilize lung one as an effective way to go about addressing those issues. And you can virtually apply any patch there, but uh, those patches that we just named are gonna be some of the most effective ones. Uh, I believe Ms. Moore has already jumped the gun and raised her hand. Um, as you can look at the bottom of your screen, um, there's a reaction icon. When you click that reaction icon, that allows you to raise your hand and that ensures that I can find you um, and uh, give you the floor to ask your question. Really quick, Ms. Moore, before you start, I need to give just a little bit of house housekeeping rules. Um, the patches have not been uh, designated as a type two medical device by the Food and Drug Administration. So therefore they do not heal, treat, cure, prevent, or address any particular medical condition. So uh, we wanna protect the integrity of the company. So when you're asking your question, please do not use any specific disease names or um, specific diagnoses. Um, just talk about symptoms. And 99 times out of 100, I will be able to figure out what's your, what you're talking about in regards to the symptoms that you lay out for me. Minutes or so, Miss Moore, go right ahead. Okay, you're cutting in. You ready, and out. Michelle? Go right ahead. Yes, thank you. You're you're cutting in and out a uh, little bit now and then, just so you know. But at any rate, I wanted to thank you for uh, telling me about the aloe vita because I have this little spot on my face, and I have been putting the patch, like you said, an inch to an inch okay. and a half away, and uh, and it has not it has not gotten worse. So, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. Glad to hear that. And and I've been putting a fresh aloe vera plant on it, knowing that 
you have to pick it fresh within 24 hours. And but I I heard that um, I'm 83, so I I heard that uh, after let's see, was it for one month with the X39 for every decade? That after like eight months, uh, you feel a, a noticeable improvement? Is that right? That is that is the status quo, yes, ma'am. But it, again, everybody's gonna have their own unique experience. Some people improve rapidly, um, other people it takes a little while longer, but, but that's kind of the, the standard sort of experience for people based upon uh, corporate uh, feedback. Are, are you going to be able to go to, to convention? You know, I, I really want to. I don't know if my schedule is going to allow me to do so, mm -hmm. uh, but I, I'm doing my best to make it if I can. Yes. Uh, the, um, um, well, that, that, that's okay for now. I, I think Donna Karth wants to ask a question too. Okay. No, but no that's problem. very important because she's just getting over um, a, the uh, a pneumonia. So, okay. she, so she would just put this X39, which she has right here, and the glutathione. Right. So, so lung one is going to be at the edge of this is the deltoid muscle and this is the pectoral muscle. It's gonna be right in between those two. Okay. And so um, I, I know it's a little bit difficult with my shirt on, um, but you can also Google lung one acupoint or acupuncture point, and it will give a more specific detailed description of exactly where to place it. Also, you can take a look in your book and your booklet um, for energy enhancer, uh, let's see, I think energy enhancer and also, uh, maybe Nirvana. I'm, I'm not, I can't remember exactly, but in the back of the booklet, there's, there's going to be depictions of how you place the patches. And there's a couple of booklets that come with lung one as a, as a common acupoint. Okay. Thank you very much. Appreciate your. Oh, you're welcome. Involved, so no much. problem. And keep keep uh, keep fo focusing on that skin, and I think that it will continue to improve. Okay. Next, we have Advanced Health at Gmail. Go right ahead and unmute yourself and ask your question. Hi, Dr. Jeff. It's Kisu. How are you today? Hey, Kisu, how are you doing? I'm doing well, sir. I just wanted to ask, um, on this lung one, when you're using the energy in the uh, ice wave, is it going to show using one patch on the front and then one on the back in the same spot? I think you're frozen. So, um way it's really bad and I think you were frozen how about now nope I can hear you but you're fro oh you're fine okay okay yeah I, I don't know what's up I, I hear you guys fine I don't know why your guys are having a challenge hearing me but um so so usually you want to do it symmetrically you do tan on the left and white on the right on the same lung one position if you okay. want to do something more specific to issues with rotator cuff or challenges with the joint pain, discomfort, you can put the tan patch in the front and the white patch on the back. That's a that's an effective strategy to help with joint pain. Mm -hmm. No, for respiratory, I was thinking the carnosine, but that goes on the right side only, or can you in this case use it on either side? Typically, we, you want to use the Y age group, Aeon, glutathione, carnosine on the right side or on the midline. So okay. what I would do is I would put carnosine right in the center of the chest, mm -hmm. right? That's conception vessel 17. And then I would do lung one with energy enhancer if it's during the day or ice wave at night. Perfect. I know that diagram would show that, but I just wanted you to tell me so that you can 
point to it. <laughs> sure. And and so again, remember that triangle yeah. is going to be super beneficial. So when you have tan on the left, white on the right, and carnison in the center, you've made a triangle on your chest. So that that's, that's going to be a, a powerful uh, acupuncture strategy uh, when you're placing the patches. Uh, creating that triangle is awesome. Okay. Perfect. And energy or ice wave, it doesn't matter which with the carnosine. Right. I mean, you know, typically ice wave is a kind of a calming sort of experience. So that's better in the evening. If you want to be revved up, then energy enhancer is probably your choice. But I probably wouldn't put energy enhancer on before bed because you might not get the quality of sleep that you're looking for. Right. Thank you, sir. No problem. Good to see you. Okay. All right, who else has a question? Go right ahead, you can unmute yourself. I, I don't see any other hands up at the moment. Is there someone else who has a pertinent question and is ready to rock and roll? No questions tonight? I have a question. Okay, go right ahead, sir. <clears throat> this is the first time I've attended this call, and it is absolutely amazing. Thank you for doing it, number one. Oh, absolutely. Is this recorded anywhere that we could refer it back or send it to people that are in desperate need of this information? Yes, sir, it is. It's, it's on my YouTube channel. Everything is archived there. And so uh, you can just grab, uh, you can... Uh, Search my name is Jeffrey B. Hubbard, MD, or you can uh, take a look at the more common areas um, like Ask Dr. Jeff is in the search. And so you just scroll through. There is another Ask Dr. Jeff who is a chiropractor, uh, but a lot of his videos are older. So mine are towards the top. You can go ahead and find me there as well. On YouTube? Yes, sir. Thank you so much. And uh, every, every Tuesday? Every Tuesday, 7.30 Central, 8.30 Eastern. And uh, we talked last week, since this is your first time, we are in the process of um, expanding the platform and also building a database so that I can communicate with you guys. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I was sick and unable to attend. And so I just want to make sure that everybody has uh, uh, my contact info and I have yours. So just send me an email on contact Dr. Jeff at Gmail uh, and I'll add you to the database and that way we can stay in constant communication. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. We'll see you again. Absolutely. Welcome. Thank you for coming. All right, Ms. Harwood, go right ahead. You can unmute yourself and answer questions. Hi, Dr. Jeff. Um, thank you for answering my email question last week. But um, this oh, week, no. I know about um, headaches. If somebody has a headache, like at the back of their head, is the Eon patch the correct patch to be using and where? So I love Eon. Um, I think Eon is, uh, how shall I say this? It, it's the, the patch equivalent of ibuprofen. Um, so it's great for anti-inflammatory issues. Um, it helps to relax you. It's kind of an anti-anxiety. It actually works on our parasympathetic nervous system, which is a division of our nervous system that handles blood pressure, heart rate, uh, perspiration, gastrointestinal function. And so it helps to calm us down parasympathetic activity is, is coined as rest or digest. Um, and so uh, um, Eon would be a great choice. It depends upon where the headache is. And so the, the typical ones are tension in the temples, uh, sinus in, in the face. You can have occipital pain in the back. Um, and then, you know, sometimes it's just like, uh, you know, right there in the center of the forehead. Those are the more common ones. If it's in the face forehead area, you can wear it right here on the third eye, which is governing vessel 24.5. Um, if it's more towards the back occipital region, 
there's two, you know, there's kind of two big muscles there that uh, connect the neck to the back of the skull. And on either side of there are two really powerful acupuncture points. And you can patch either one of those. Typically with Ice Wave works really well, tan on the left, white on the right. If somebody like myself, the back of my hair is kind of faded, it cut. So I can apply the patches there without any issue. For ladies, that may be a little bit more of a challenge if you have a lot of hair back there to get it to stick and stay. So there's you can use those little hair clips and put them in place there. Um, that's a, a pretty helpful way to go about it. Um, sometimes you can just put X39 on the back of the neck, um, Eon on the back of the neck. All of those things would be helpful. Sometimes it's a little bit of trial and error too, just figuring out exactly uh, where uh the the issue is where the discomfort is and then seeing exactly which patch is going to help most effectively okay thank you so welcome all right we've got time for about one or two more cheryl you're you're up you can go ahead and unmute yourself and ask your question okay i don't have a question i have a testimony Oh, wonderful. <laughs> we love those two. <laughs> I talked with you last Tuesday about uh, respiratory. Yes, ma'am. Uh, and um, so you told me to use the glutathione and the uh, Eon on the third eye. I did that in the ice wave on the side of the nostrils, white on the right, tan on the left. Mm -hmm. I did that. I put the uh, X39 on the, on the back of my uh, neck. Mm -hmm. And I looked at my drawer and I found a cornice and that, I, and I put that also on my chest and it's, it, I'm feeling a whole lot better. I'm able to cough up, you know, it's like it's got, the mucus has gotten looser. So that's a testimony. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. And guys, let me just reiterate what Cheryl shared. So we stacked glutathione and Eon here on the third eye. This is governing vessel 24.5. And then on either side of the nostrils, this is stomach two, and you can just kind of get right under those cheekbones. And oh my goodness, it just pushing right there. I don't have any issues with my sinus. I can feel that. If you find the right space, you can really know that you're hitting on it. White ice wave there. Uh, and that triangular position, again, is going to be unbelievably helpful for any sort of congestion, sinus, um, stopped up runny nose, allergies, uh, any sort of acute infection, anything like that is going to be awesome. That positioning is great. And then Carnison, um, center of the chest, X39 on the back of the neck, all of those things are going to be really effective for helping you to uh, minimize any sort of congestion, upper respiratory challenges, anything like that. So thank you, Cheryl, for that testimony. I'm glad that you're feeling better. Um, I, I just provide a little direction. I, I, the, the patches are magical. They do what they are supposed to do. So glad to know that you're feeling better and excited to hear that uh, things are improving. Okay, guys, I have 7.56. Uh, my time, I hate to cut things short. Typically, I'm always up for more questions and uh, answer period, but I'm just getting ready to do another presentation and I have to run. But I wanted to leave you guys with this. Um, take into consideration if you have a complex issue or something that's challenging, Maybe you're just shy and you don't want to ask questions in an in a open Zoom platform. Feel free to email me. Also, I'm open for one-on-one -on -one consultations. Um, just get on my calendar and we can talk one-on-one -on -one and provide some specific patch strategies and patch uh, uh, application so that you can address whatever issues you might be having. Um, we had a great turnout tonight. Thank you guys for coming. We'll see you guys next Tuesday. Looking forward to it. Same bad time, same bad channel. It's going to be 5.30 Pacific, 8.30 Eastern. AskDrJeff.org is how you connect to the Zoom platform. And I look forward to seeing you all again. Contact drjeff at gmail.com. 
is the way that you add yourself to our database and we'll be continuing to engage and uh, put information out there. I think I'm gonna start a little bit of a, a newsletter of sorts or just a constant information to make sure that everybody's aware of things that are happening. And so I just wanna make sure that everybody's on the same sheet of music as we move forward, okay? Thanks everyone. See you guys next week. You guys enjoy your week and I'll see you soon. Take it easy. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Dr. Jeff. All righty, guys. Bye-bye. Amazing. Bye. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much.